Now, when your home is bushy, you're likely to pull the hole or get we decide to clear the nuisance. But there's a theory suggesting you may not have to clear everything. A senior official at the FAO in Africa, Scott Newman, says some plant varieties are endangered and must be protected. The suggestion extends to endangered animals as well. Mr. Newman today gave a talk at a program to celebrate the International Day of Biodiversity at the Ghana Institute of Journalism here in Accra. Philip Ancres report read to you. The event was organized in partnership with the school as part of activities to celebrate its 60th anniversary. Scott Newman in an interview said, Organisms in general play important roles in sustainable agriculture and therefore need to be protected. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's really important that people are aware of the surroundings that they live in, the nature, uh, the other animals that we share the planet with, uh, the plants, the water, the quality of the soil, all of these things contribute to our health and well-being. And so if these things start to be sick or affected or polluted or contaminated, this ultimately will affect our health and well-being. We know there's a very, uh, a very strong relationship between loss of biodiversity, loss of ecological services, and the emergence of different diseases. And so, uh, you know, diseases can affect animals or people. And so we recognize that ensuring our health really depends on ensuring the, the health of the biodiversity that we share the planet with. Acting Deputy Director of the Ghana Institute of Journalism, Dr. Perry K.K. Ofosu, believes much education needs to be done if you want to make any impact in saving the ecosystem. Many people don't know the gravity of the matter. For example, as I said, if in about... 50 years to come, about 100 plant and animal species are going to go extinct. How do we, ordinary Ghanaian over here, who really understands the implications, the repercussions of this kind of thing? People don't know. So we'll keep doing what we think we have been doing, and it's difficult to change. So persistent advocacy, and that's where the media comes in. We should sensitize people and let them understand the implications of all this. This is the time to move away from what we have been doing over the, the years and start looking at how to conserve and preserve our environment and it is very, very important. As part of activities to celebrate the day, the FAO outdoored a report that presents evidence that the biodiversity that underpins our food system are disappearing, putting the future of our food, livelihoods, health and environment under severe threat. For John News, Philip Ankers reports.